back on a Camaro. It's a new spoiler. Getting it all laid out for that. Painted the brackets earlier. Here's a new chrome versus old chrome. This old chrome looked presentable. So you put it up next to the new chrome. New front bumper here. Here's the Camaro. Coming along nice here. Front end pretty much all together now. Ready to mount the front bumper, then we'll put the front spoiler on the bottom. So old grill here was molded in black. You can see. The owner debated whether we would just repaint this silver. All the Z28s had a silver grill. Or uh, if you would get another grill, decided to get the other grill because even if we use adhesion promoter, this plastic will probably chip. Silver paint would chip to show black specs. So you bought the silver grill. You can see it here. It's molded in silver. I taped it off and painted the green on the surround for that. The headlight rings are the originals. I painted those, prepped and painted those. My silver matched the grill real nice. Coming together really good. Looks like a Camaro again. <clears throat> Same on the rear bumper, you know, it, it looked presentable. So you put it up against the car that's all freshly painted. Really good on this, even the uh, the plate bracket was new on this car. The rubber bumpers here. The lights are new. See, I got all the name scripts. Everything are new on it. Side marker lights are new. We got this panel all buffed in up here now. Only have to come up to here, like I said. They're all buffed in there. I'll clean the roof off now. Left the sanding scratch on that so the uh, vinyl top glue will have a better adhesion. That's where we're at today. Tomorrow we'll work on this front, we'll work on the wheel openings and the uh, lower rocker moldings. So I'll get some door handles on, then we're going to be ready to go to the upholstery shop with the top down and the headliner put in the car. That's where we're at today. Alright, we're back on a Camaro today. Really nice. We look at a problem today. Another one of these little detail issues. You end up with when you deal with the aftermarket industry. Price wise, of course, it's always a way to go. So you're ready to put our door handles on. I'll just say, you know, this is a name brand. It doesn't matter who you go to, they're all the same. Uh, door handles are always made a little bit different. We can see right here the shape of this plunger. It's just a round rod on this one. I hope we don't have any issue with that. I did my 67 Impala. I had to refabricate these plungers. Because when you take these out of here, the push button comes with them. So you don't want to use this push button on a nice new door handle. So hopefully we won't run into that. But the other thing that we run into are the gaskets. You think they could get these things die cut right, but when you take the gasket and you fit it in place, you see the black rubber gasket on the back held down with the, st the stud. Well, look at this. That's how much the gasket hangs out around the handle. You can see all that black. Got to get it here against. There we go. This is the floor. You can see it. Things out all the way around. <clears throat> so you have to trim those. I've already done this one. This way. The 
gasket does not protrude out past the edge of the door handle. A little bit's okay, a little bit's acceptable. That's just one of those little detail things. You sure don't want that big mass of uh, rubber hanging out there. That's about an eighth of an inch. Little things you have to do to a job. On this job also, these are the fasteners that were supplied. <coughs> to go in and hold the handle on. I'm able to use the, the larger fastener that come with this handle right here on the main body of the handle. But here on the short and the thin end of the handle, I had to use one of the factory studs. It's not as long. These won't go in far enough. So short of grinding them off, I just put the factory bolts back in here. Just things you run into using the aftermarket. We'll bring you back when we install these. All right, progress on the Camaro. Things on the fenders. 302 on the hood. Door handles and locks. New shift boot and plate. The louvers here on the rear fenders. Uh, I don't know where else we were. I'll get the guards on, the rear bumpers. That kind of sums it up today. Aftermarket stuff, you wrestle with it. Comes out okay in the end, so that's all that matters. Alright, that's the end for today.